What's going on, guys? So for this hashtag lupus for lupus builder showcase, we're gonna take a look at one of the losing kits in the entire thing. <laughs> okay, so it's not the loser. In fact, it was the big winner. Of course, this was the intermediate class and the uh, best in show winner of the ultraviolet Barbatos Lupus Rex. I remembered that. <laughs> and of course, I've got Thomas Rice with me here. Hello. And technically speaking, this is his second builder showcase, but you guys won't see the first one until October. In the future. Woo. Teasers. <laughs> Teasers. For some small event I do occasionally. It has something to do with. How dare you? <laughs> You can't say that on this channel. I can't believe you, man. But anyways, uh, this thing is uh, very purple and has yes. some red on it. And, well, it won for some reason. I don't know. I guess, <laughs> I guess we really liked it a lot. And, of course, uh, when it came down to it at the ju final judging and trying to pick the uh, overall best in show, I said, screw it, this guy's winning. Because, as you guys saw, just the sheer amount of pictures and detail he went into in presenting it. Like, not even just the great work he did in building, which, you know, I, I, so you guys will see his other build later, and actually probably other builds between now and then. <laughs> YouTube time travel. Uh, but it's just, it was so worth making the best in show. And as I described, <laughs> I don't think I mentioned it in the video, but this thing won another contest in the same day. That's right. So you, you were at the, uh, the Hobby Town. Yeah, they had the uh, the contest that was sort of the uh, their makeup for the the thing. yeah. And yeah, I, I entered that in there because I was like, oh, it's all these people that I see their kits on display at uh, at, Hobby, at Hobby, Hobby Town. Town. So I'm like, there there's no way I'm gonna do that well. But at the very least, I'll see what other people are doing, learn their techniques, and, yeah, uh, figure out thing, where everything's going, and then. They announced like the second place winner and then the first place winner. And you're and like, oh. And I'm like, oh well. And then the, the guy's saying, it's like, okay, we're putting these boxes behind the kits that are winning. Uh, we're going to have to uh, move these ones for the next one. I'm kind of looking at my kit and maybe it's like, maybe it's the other one. Because I, I think uh, the one of the ones that you featured, the. Uh, the What's it? The. Um, Fenice oh, black uh, and gold the, one. the Fenice Noir yeah. from Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that thing. Well, he's just going to enter that in every competition he yeah. can. Because uh, I don't think that one had placed yet. So I was like, oh, yeah, of course that one's going to be on there. It was featured yeah. on YouTube. Of course it's going to do good. Twice. And, <laughs> <laughs> Technically on my channel. And um, then suddenly they put the perfect grade Exia, the, not the lightning version, but the per still a perfect grade Exia behind yep. my kit. And I'm just going, and I literally went, what? <laughs> and he went on this thing about how he liked the paint job, how he liked... Uh, Who was judging, by the way? Oh. Was it Dion or Thomas? Uh, I can't remember his name. He's And he goes by a pseudonym on Facebook, it looks like. That'd be Thomas. Okay. Um, but he liked how like I was consistent with um, the, uh, the chipping I did, because... Mm -hmm. He said apparently some people don't do, like, if they do chipping, they'll do different colors for different parts, but I did the same color all the way through. Yeah, so you thought, had the same primer underneath. And some of the other ones that I thought were going to win, like, got dinged on, like, sloppy paint jobs. I never and even saw the, I never saw the entries. That's what sucks. Like, I don't think anybody ever posted everybody who competed. I know they took pictures. So they I never have... saw a post, so that's why I was like, when, I, when your wife posted that you had won <laughs> with this, I'm like, that's why I made the comment I did on your I was like... Wait a minute, hold on. He's competing in another contest right now with that. Is that legal? That actually made me worry for a bit. And I had to. Yeah. I ended up contacting uh, Thomas, as it turns out, yeah. uh, to double check to make sure that that was okay. Because technically you hadn't won yet, <laughs> so I guess that counts. But you were competing right. in some uh, contest that didn't really matter. Yeah. It was a, not a real <laughs> contest, as it was explained to me <laughs> that my contest somehow wasn't real because it's on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, my. I just a bit, I have to keep picking. I have to keep picking. <laughs> but either way, it did win, and it yes. won big. And uh, so yeah, I mean, it's really awesome, and we should look at it. But I don't really want to. We've seen Aww. enough. I've already seen it all. Thanks for driving up here. See you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, and Good yeah, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, guys, uh, it's. I don't want to say it's a coincidence, but it's honestly a little convenient that the bigger winner lives in houston that's not the reason 
because he saw his competition and yeah. didn't think he would get there. No. And honestly, I think if Kevin Hagen had sent better pictures, like well lit pictures, oh yeah, he probably would have got it. You're, the the Shinanji one, the Shinanji right? guy. Oh yeah, and because everybody, the second we saw that, was blown away. Mm -hmm. Because how could you not be? But as I showed you, the actual well lit pictures, there's so much more to see. But he went, all stylized. Is <laughs> he went all stylized in the black box with it, which was fine. It got him the attention he needed. But it's so much more beautiful. And if I ever actually put together that montage of everybody's builds, we'll see that. But that takes time. And I haven't had much of that this, this week. <laughs> but um, uh, I know you were working on this for about, what, three to four weeks? Or um, was it longer? Because I was watching your see. progress picics. I'm trying. I'm trying to think how to parse it out. Because because you started in April at least. Yeah, thereabouts. Because I started seeing people mentioning lupus for lupus, yeah. and I was like, "What the heck is lupus for lupus?" Yeah. And then I did some Google searches, and that's how I found your channel. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, this looks like fun, and it's for a good cause, and it gives yeah. me an excuse to buy a kit and build something." So I. Were you already in the club at that point, or was that around about the same time? I was in the club. So, like, you were okay. posting stuff, but, I, like, it didn't... You just didn't... didn't ding, yeah. And because, like, I, and at the time, I wasn't able to watch a lot of uh, YouTube. Okay. Because uh, sometimes I'll have that on when I'm working or something like that, but I was having to dial back on that stuff. And so I wasn't looking for new videos. You just weren't bothering, so, yeah. Yeah. I see how it is. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and, but You're then here I now. started, but I checked it out and I was like, okay, I'll give that a shot. And then you already mentioned on your channel how I came in. It's like, oh yeah, I'm working on a loop. Yeah. Loop like, he, he literally comes into the meet and starts talking about it. And I'm just sitting there in my Shoki Reviews shirt. <laughs> I honestly. <laughs> but you, didn't, you couldn't have read it where you yeah. were, but you were across like, the room. It, it didn't even register. But you, you probably had never even seen me to know. So like that's I maybe saw like maybe one or two. Yeah, you had where you actually saw your pic, saw your face. Yeah, so you knew about the contest really before you even knew about me. Yeah. That's what was so funny about. I didn't it. even realize you were in the Houston area. Yeah, like I, I think I had a feeling that you were Texan area because a lot of people were yeah. doing stuff with that, but I didn't even know that you were active in the same area as me, which yeah. I thought was really cool. Well, that's I, okay. I didn't know about you either. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've been on my channel twice, <laughs> and you get the most expensive thing I've ever bought. <laughs> For this channel. No, that's not true either. Never mind. <laughs> that would be over there in the case. But either way, and there's my, by the way, there's my PGX. Yeah, you've seen it before, but mm. haven't even, there's the lighting version if you ever yes. want to know what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> yeah, people say lightning. It's actually lighting. I think people just assume because I, they, it's they Japanese. They just, they don't read they, it. Or they yeah. assume because it's Japanese that they're going to mess yeah. up the English a little so bit. I always say lighted. Lighted? Yeah, because that's what it should be. Lighting model doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Except that it is more or less like a fixture in your house. So it is lighting. <laughs> it is lighting. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Mitchell's is phenomenal. That's one thing I want to do uh, uh, when I get mine done. I want to compare a straight built one to what he did with his. Cool. Because I've never featured his yet since he's got it done. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. But either way, guys, we're sitting here chatting about all this stuff. Uh, as I said before, uh, around about how long did it? take you because I, I think it had to have been in april yeah cause no we, even, it was either april or into march when i started the contest yeah. uh so that meeting yeah it was the beginning of april was that meeting mm -hmm. so you re really knocked this out in maybe five weeks max yeah it it came down to the wire though because yeah i was i ran out of my red spray paint like hold twice your, hold your story there <laughs> ah okay so now continue already... okay. ran, ran out of red spray paint yeah, I ran out of red spray paint like twice on this thing because I underestimated how much I was going to need. But how did you run out of red? Purple's the primary color. Was uh, it just the covering? Because it's uh, Tamiya. So oh, they're, they're the little tiny, jars. They're tiny little uh, spray cans. And I probably over overdid it on some of them because I went... It is mildly heavy in some spots. Yeah, cause, well, and I used a, a dark primer on it. So I, wanted, so I went heavier to get a, a brighter red. The uh, the really bright red is actually say it's not, marker. I was going to say it's not even that bright, except on the chest. The the mm -hmm. forearms and stuff are a little bit darker. I'm going to move it a little bit. I know oh, it sure. still moves. I've already handled it mildly. <laughs> I've touched it. 
I touched it. <laughs> okay, but like the chest and the crotch yeah. armor and stuff like that are a little I bit. Might have, I might have had, used a different primer at that point. I can't remember. How dare cause... you? Yeah, you can tell the darker stuff on the shoulders and the forearms and then probably uh, the light gray primer yeah. if I had to guess, which the Tam the Tamiya Ultra Fine Primer, which is what I used. I actually, I think I was using, I don't think I used uh, Tamiya Primer. How dare I, you? <laughs> Get out. It was just whatever I had uh, handy. That's partly where the purple comes from. It was oh, yeah. because it was a uh, it was a color of spray paint that I had gotten for a uh, to work on a uh, a Splatoon costume for Halloween a couple years ago. Really? Yes. That's interesting. We, my wife, me, and my son all dressed up as Splatoon characters one year, and we made little weapons and stuff. You know, one thing I couldn't see in the pictures is the seam lines on the forearm, right there, mm. and right there. I didn't glue those because I wanted to be able to uh, take the armor off if I wanted to. Yeah. I mean, it's not terrible, but mm -hmm. without these super bright lights on them right now, yeah. I would not see it. And you guys probably can, <laughs> well, you can see it on camera just barely. But uh, there was a couple choices I did want to ask. Go and for it. It was because, as I said in my own video, the color separation, it doesn't tickle me. Fair enough. Um, and to each their own. I mean, I like the red, I like the placement of the red. That's not a huge. Well, the red shoulders are really not a huge difference. No, wait, those are blue on. They're blue originally. They're blue on original. It on throws original me off. That's right. When I well, because the just... uh, the lupus is red. Yes. So that's why it's even funnier. But like, actually, uh, in this aspect, I never noticed how much the shoulders look like flight helmets. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, if you had a little clear piece, there's a jet yeah. fighter helmet. <laughs> Now you can't unsee it. Or the, the never head off of an Aries. From, that, uh, or that too. From wing. Um, I mean, it's not bad by any means, but it's just what, what, where did you come up with this color scheme? Not just the purple, because that was a given, but how you arranged it, I should say. So um, I say the purple came about because I had it handy, but I actually had been bouncing around the idea of a uh, purple based color scheme uh, for some sort of build. Mm -hmm. Before, um, I had originally thought of doing a, a Gundam Zeta Ultraviolet at one point. Uh, and that was partly because I liked the uh, sort of purplish color that was on this one version of the Zeta that uh, Amuro piloted. Mm -hmm. I've seen that one, the, like the Zeta 3, I think yeah. they call it. And um, so I kind of wanted, since getting a kit for that was expensive, I was like, well, maybe I'll just that, make That I'll was a P-Bandai only, yeah. <laughs> I'll make my own. Is that, isn't that a, <laughs> that's a lighter purple, though. It's yeah, it's pink, a lot. Pinkish. Yeah, it's more of a pinkish color. Mauve. But, um, <laughs> I just so want to say mauve. When I when it came to do the, the come up with the idea for this, um, I saw that purple was the color for the for lupus awareness. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, well, that just sort of makes the decision a little bit uh, easier. I'll go ahead and um, make this guy purple. Make this guy purple. Yeah. Um, the way I came up with the uh, color separation is I actually, I, on my phone, I downloaded a picture of the Lupus Rex, the, this particular version of it, the 1100 Full Mechanics, and I used a, uh, um, this Photoshop-like program to recolor uh, the picture. Yeah, the, the other kit you showed me earlier on your phone, the way, yeah. you, way you did that. Mm -hmm. nice. No, that one was done on actual Photoshop. I just took a oh, picture sure, of the screen. Oh, sure, fine. You took a picture of your Photoshop <laughs> picture. But so uh, this one... Um, I like these hands, by the way. Thank you. Even though the, the hands actually suck. I mean, yeah. the details are good. But um, so I... Caught it on the first bounce. <laughs> so I mapped out the colors there. And originally, uh, what was red was going to be um, sort of a gray or a silver. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I was making it look almost exactly like one of the other Gundams in the show. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Because it, huh, yeah. it started to look a little bit like, uh, was it the uh, Chimaris? The Chimaris, yeah, yeah. I could see it. And I was like, no, no. So I, I dialed it back a little bit from oh, there. Oh, I could really see that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it would have probably looked cool, but I was like, no, that's not what I want to do. I want I don't want this thing to look too much like another gun. I want this to be uh, more or less its own thing, basically. Now, I do like that the, the parts you left white. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, a lot of those tend to stay white on the regular Gundam, with the forearms, the thighs, and the, right. I'm sorry, the biceps, the thighs, and the feet. But like, what is that? It looks like he's wearing white shorts <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, and kind of some sandals. If we're honest, I'm seeing that now. Like in the pictures, yeah. it's a different context. I mean, it's not an insult by any means because I've I've done 
uh, if you look at my Christmas Gundam, yeah. it's actually made to look like he's wearing Santa Claus pants. Mm -hmm. with the cuff and everything like that so purposely making things look like clothing but like with the shoulder pads and everything it almost yeah. looks like a football player like a like a cool jersey mm -hmm. especially with like the red inner chest and stuff like that i do like it i like i like it i'm gonna remember i'm gonna make everybody say i'm very critical of anything in front of me no, because that's... it's what i do and it's not like me ragging on anything you do but i'm gonna point out the things that can even help you in the future no, no, especially no. if it's something I can't do so be like I know you're better than this <laughs> fix it no <laughs> and uh and like I said guys uh, this isn't our first go around we've gone through this before with the, one of his older builds um which is actually the whole reason I contacted you in the first place was yes. at the after that meeting was mm -hmm. because I liked your build and I wanted to see it up close before we get into like the weapons and stuff like that because you do have some uh, fun new toys for this were there any techniques that you kind of upped your game on when doing this something you've maybe experimented with to really go for it um I, I did different things with the weathering um you can't see it as much on where it is right now but on the inner frame i did standard uh dry brushing uh for the most part but the um i did a chipping technique on the outside because i wanted to try that well that part we can see <laughs> now yeah. i have seen your inner framework yeah it does look pretty cool i can i can pull up pictures right here if i'm not lazy yeah um but uh so that was that's the big thing was i did was i tried out chipping and oh, put that part back on Shh, don't, <laughs> don't call attention to it um and that was the uh oh he's going yeah he's going don't do it <laughs> it's hilarious the hg does that too <laughs> he's back heavy but he falls forward it makes no sense <laughs> Makes no the sense. The center of gravity is all weird on this guy, especially and, with the, and, uh, the yeah. digigrade legs. Well, the fact that I haven't uh, built it, it, we're going way off topic here just because that was happening, uh, because I only have my bare well, friends in the living room, mm -hmm. uh, or else we could compare. But like, you'd have to have the knees bent just a little, or else they will start tilting mm -hmm. forward, because you got to have that it. little bit of the legs. And yeah, like you said, the slightly digigraded legs for that, which if anybody doesn't know, digigraded just means it curves <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, weathering was the big thing that I stepped up on this. Um, I did, I was doing, I did um, water slide decals on my previous build. I was going to ask uh, where you got the water slides for this one. Was it just um, a universal set or? It was just a uh, generic uh, set that I got off of uh, USA Gundam Store. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. It was a 1100 scale, like, warning decal set number three or something like that. I've seen that set. And I actually really liked it, but what's funny is I still have all these little pieces of blue paper from the backing, uh -huh. uh, littering stuck, the room that, the I built this, that, I, that I built and uh, detailed this thing in. And it, it can't, every so often I'll like look down on the floor and find that one had tracked its way out there and onto the living room or whatever. There we go. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> you almost think you do this for a living. <laughs> you think? <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, but yeah, you can see a lot of the weathering, especially in the uh, vents and stuff down here. Where yeah. You can see where you definitely uh, took some smudgification there. Those I chose to do as sort of a um, as a um, dry brushing technique because I felt if those were like where hot gas was escaping or something like yeah, that because it, it would cooling, have a yeah. different effect than just the straight up uh chipping yeah because those are te i think those are technically the vents for these thrusters mm -hmm. so correct now one thing i saw a lot in this contest and i thought was strange but it's a great idea a lot of guys took some aftermarket verniers and crammed them back there <laughs> um and i like that idea i like to especially replacing whatever that technically is supposed to be because the hgs don't have that um but yeah putting a slapping a huge thruster there totally makes sense even though these are actually yeah, thrusters we're moving it around yeah because i remember looking at uh i was watching videos uh uh about the barbatos and stuff like that trying to actually i was trying to figure out story elements and uh, yeah, watching you... as they're zipping along with jets coming off of their legs i'm like where is that coming from? oh i guess it's from those little tiny things i was gonna ask because you had what seemed to be a story yes. built up for this and i didn't get a chance to really ask you about that until now tell me about that story <laughs> okay well i actually came up with a name with it called uh hidden light because oh, wait, it's i have the... an idea wait hi there we go <laughs> 
because it's the ultraviolet, which is, of course, in the invisible spectrum. <laughs> and so, or non-visible spectrum. Yes. Thank Sorry, you. I was thinking about what I did, <laughs> not what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so the, the, uh, the story on it goes that um, sometime after the fall of uh, Tekadan, mm-hmm. um, the, uh, what's left of the Barbatos gets scooped up and salvaged. Whether it be by one person or a bunch of people, I hadn't really fleshed out. Um, but eventually, it all ends up in the hands of one person who has a uh, who's working out of a colony uh, orbiting Jupiter. And, oh, we're going double O now. We're going all the way out to Jupiter. <laughs> well, there were some Jupiter colonies uh, in the uh, first half of uh, IBO. That's where um, uh, Tewaz was uh, based out of, wasn't it? No, there Tewaz was. Not that far away from Mars. Hmm. Well, I think you're just thinking it is. That would. How far away would they have to be to be close to Jupiter when they're supposed to be <laughs> in between Earth and Mars? That's not exactly near the same neighborhood. Well, the thought was and this also takes place uh, a couple generations after the series. Oh, so not uh, 20 minutes. No. Okay. <laughs> so, and um, the uh, the people who rebuild the uh, the Barbatos. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually, while they're building it, they use a, a new material that was, that I came up with for the purpose of this, uh, that was created in the colonies over there that I called, uh, Jovian steel. And even in the story, the person's like, it's not really steel. It's just a name they came up with. Jovian. And basically it's a type of alloy that reacts to, um, Ahab reactors. And that, that's what nano limited armor does. Yeah. And so, (laughs) I mean, good job. You came up with what they already had, but a different name. Good job. Yes. And, um, but that explain that also, that's also how I explained why it has a a different color scheme because it changed colors when it, when the, uh, Abraham reactor turned on. Think kind of like, uh, the phase shift armor in Gundam Seed. That's what I was just thinking. It it phase shifted into this and they went, oh, it's purple. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of. And they're like, why is it? That's the best reaction. Why is it purple? Um, it was white and blue. What happened? <laughs> and yet the yellow stayed the same. I don't understand. Yeah. Colors. And, Colors. Because it's ultraviolet. Duh. And that's well, how huh? they come up with the name ultraviolet. And I actually have plans for a uh, uh, an infrared that's not, it's not a Barbatos and a uh, X-ray that I want to do at some point in the future. So the X-ray, you just can see through it. Actually, I was just figuring it was going to be like bright green or something like that. Go invisible. comic book X-ray. It's, it's invisible. <laughs> and um, I can't see it. But the uh, the pilot for this one ends up being um, uh, shoot. I'm blanking on his name. Don't say Mikazuki. Yeah, Mikazuki's uh, no, grand. It's not. Hmm? I'm just saying <laughs> now. No, it ends up being his uh, granddaughter. Oh. And I even had in the story like she's. Uh, Around the time they started doing activation tests of the Barbato, she starts getting these weird dreams about wolves, hmm. and feel and when she um, actually finds the museum that this thing is set up in, hmm. she feels like drawn to a it. Museum, and, they, yeah. They, they they hold on. They so colonists of Jupiter somehow get a hold of a Gundam that was destroyed on Mars, rebuild it, and put it up in a museum there. Yes, where his granddaughter happens to be. Yes. <laughs> sounds like a, it totally sounds like a Gundam series. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Actually, it sounds like a Marvel series. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's about as coincidental as it gets. There's no such thing as coincidence. I mean, I'm yeah. not going to make fun of you no, for your own fan. I mean, it's all it's I'm all trying not to fan. giggle because like, it's yeah. something I definitely would do. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have a whole story behind my, my custom grays back there, mm-hmm. which I think I've told you, but yeah, no, so. I mean, it's it's... It's. I mean, it's fun to watch somebody who's gone to that level. Yeah. And if you looked at like, um, I had like a, a gallery of additional images. I even made a logo for this fictional storyline, mm-hmm. including I made a Japanese version because I was able to find a uh, vectors for the Japanese logo, and I was able to add stuff to that. Nice. And then I couldn't figure out the font for the English logo, so I just made my own. <laughs> And Why not? Because I'm a design nerd Weird dis- with probably too much free time on my hands. <laughs> as you can tell by the shirt he yeah. wore. He wore the same shirt as last time, so I'm not plugging it again. 
Aww. <laughs> well, I'm plugging that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and that's uh, the main stuff that I have written down. Like, I may do... Um, There's so much more in my head, guys. You don't even know. Pretty much. Well, the head, I have his head cannon is ridiculous. Let's just be honest. <laughs> I have ideas for, like, who the bad guys are, and I would like to figure out what they could do for their mobile suits or something like that. But Can, can I ask if... This is generations later. Yeah. And they had to rebuild this thing despite how scrapped it was. Oh, yeah. And they even said... Why did they make it look exactly the same other than the color? I'm just being... I'm just going <laughs> into the realism of the... Because they didn't bother making because their own would... version. They somehow had images of what it looked like, despite nobody yeah. knowing what Tekadon was. I'm just digging into your um, own fan... The, I'm the, digging into your fan dream. The museum that it was in was actually a Tekadan museum. Oh, on Jupiter. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, because where else <laughs> The Leftovers. Get... The Leftovers well, who escaped Mars. I'm just kidding. It, it was made by well, Ride. And even Ride was... did it. Ride set up this colony, and that's what you're <laughs> going to find out in the future, that he's actually coming back. They, they wanted a whole new colony to come back and take revenge on everyone who betrayed Tekadon. That's why they rebuilt the Barbatos the way they did. I like this story. Let's go with that instead. Yeah. Even new in story. The story. Even in the story, she's, she's wondering who the heck built a museum for this, because especially since... At the end of the series, Tekadam was basically labeled as a terrorist organization. Yeah, nobody, they, nobody uh, realized what they were there and, for, and they just know what happened. And she then. has a couple of monologues in her head where she's like, "Yeah, Ma Grandma told me don't talk about Tekadam. Don't talk about what you did, what your family did on Mars. Just what happens on Mars stays on." Mars. Basically, it's like you're going to school here on this colony. Do that. Keep your head low. Do good in school. Don't talk about Tekadam. <laughs> First rule about that. <laughs> yeah. you don't. No. I'm picking on you just a little bit. Because it's fun. Not that I'm ragging on your actual story. Like I'm <laughs> I couldn't tell you how many head cannons I have for things. Okay, I don't even know where we left off, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the weapons. Okay. Because you did do some custom work, obviously. Yes. Uh, as I was twiddling with it earlier, we have the uh, the Chris Mace tree, as I call it, <laughs> uh, which actually looks way more like a spaceship in this case, where you did the color separation. Yeah, I knew I wanted to do something more with it than just paint it gray. So I. It's so boring. It really is. Like I get why they didn't bother painting it in the series because it's just going to be smashed. Yeah. Into dozens of people. Well, heck, he like he the first mace he like lost in space. <laughs> he threw it at somebody, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, but this one, I forget. This one actually had the squeeze mode where the spike came out, right? Because he did that on somebody. Yeah, the spike still the spike's there and it does come out. Oh, it does. Yeah. I haven't actually built this, so I don't know. Yeah. It might be a little tight because it's got paint. I'm not pulling any further. Yeah. It didn't move. I'm yeah. That was quite a lot of effort. And uh, the I forgot, the handle should extend, The right? handle should extend, but again, like the spike, no, it might be a little it. paint st stuck. To be honest, I don't care for the mace, at least for the kit. Yeah. Just because it's so big, the handle is kind of flimsy, and the arms just cannot hold, the hold it with the exception of just like maybe a few decent well, posts. That's which is why you kind of why you have this guy, right? Yeah. So, And actually, this is very similar to the stand that comes with the... Um, that guy over there for okay. holding up his uh, tail. Okay. So very similar uh, in aspect to that, but you can always just, you know, prop him like, mm -hmm. dunk, like so. So, hey, mom, look, I got a big gun. <laughs> it's not a gun, actually. It's a mace, but that's okay. But, hey, it looks good on that. Oh, yeah. You never thought about that, did you? I did not think about placing it at least like that for uh, display purposes. Now you will. Now I will. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here, to get, come up with the ideas you weren't thinking about. And, of course, you have other minor accessories for that. So the thingy that connects it to his butt. Yep. And that is also slightly weathered and painted just to you know, just go with everybody else. Because it seemed like it would stand out. Just, it, is it just dry brushing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, silver, <laughs> yeah, silver, silver paint. <laughs> uh, the pipes actually help retain parts that I throw, so that's good. <laughs> um, and you had the leftover little bit here from the uh, regular bare Gundam yeah. head. Was that just because it doesn't go on after the... It doesn't... It... Which actually surprised me because I thought it would have been uh, built so that way, like the V thing goes on over it or something. But no, you actually have to <clears throat> remove that in order to put the uh, the proper V fin on there. I guess I'll find out when I get the lupus done whether or not it works on that one too because I don't know. I haven't built it. I haven't gotten that far yet, guys. And I was twiddling with them earlier. The the custom closed hands. Yeah. 
I can't hold on to things anymore. <laughs> Man, oddly enough, my manual dexterity sucks, so I drop hands. <laughs> Um, and that's just some dry brushing on there along with what I assume was red, uh, Gundam marker. That's right. I'm good. I can tell. And, uh, chipping mm -hmm. on the, uh, the, the white marks. The back of the hands. Yeah. Now, uh, when you oh, did... and panel lining. Yeah. yeah. Were these actually... Did you paint these or were they bare plastic? Bare plastic. Oh, okay. I was just looking at it, yeah. Panel lines are a little bit fuzzy on this, but actually it's fuzzier in real life than it looks on the camera. So, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> the camera can see it better than I can. But then again, I don't have Samsung eyes. Um, ooh, Samsung, get on that. <laughs> the wrist pegs are tiny. Yeah. Wow. That's smaller than the Lupus's hands, if I remember correctly. Wow. That's crazy. Um, and then, of course, you have this guy, which only one of my subscribers realized what this was, and he went nuts over it. <laughs> now, explain it to those who don't know. Okay, it is the CP07 cannonry unit from Zoids. Uh, specifically, it's the version from uh, that got re got released um, when they were doing kits in the uh, early 2000s. So by itself, it's its own add-on unit. Yeah, oh, but okay. it was like I think it was originally part of like because uh, uh, the the mold itself actually dates back to like the 80s, I think. It does look a little 80s ish. Uh, and uh, it was originally, it's designed to go with something called the uh, Molga, which is this sort of caterpillar looking thing. Uh -huh. And I. Uh, That's back, what the guy said, yeah. Yeah. And back in the day, I was real into uh, Zoids, and I picked up several kits, several custom parts. That's what CP stands for. And. Um, custom parts. And I just. I in, didn't have any kit that I wanted this to go on. Because. I wanted to go on something special and couldn't think of anything, and none of the kits I had were just quite right. And this came up. Yeah, and so when uh, the contest came up, I was like, okay, I need to do something different. Nice. And I guess that's the, the other thing that I uh, worked on here was trying to figure out how to attach this thing. Yeah, that's sort of what we were going to get to because one of the cool real custom touches other than your paint job, the arm that you modified. Yep. So um, I... The uh, the hard points there are actually also from Zoids. The Zoids had a series called Blocks, B L O X, and they were made up of these little blocks, <laughs> and you could connect. Really. <laughs> and you could connect them together with these little uh, connector pegs. Uh -huh. And um, so, like Legos on steroids. Kind of, yeah. And so, I when I I was going to use magnets. And I even went as far as picking up a set of little uh, rare earth magnets, but I couldn't get them to quite fit in the arm the way I wanted to. Yeah, magnets are tricky. I've played with them a couple times, especially on some of my uh, Power Rangers yeah. stuff. And the, the arm was just a little bit too thin for them. So I went to my backup plan, which was I took a drill bit, figured out where everything was going to go, and drilled out the hole, put those in, then drilled holes, on, matching holes on there. Ignore me, just yeah. keep talking. <laughs> um, I'm trying to prop that up. Originally, I did have it set up so that you could uh, still remove the uh, the that red uh, armor piece when you took it off, when you if you wanted to take the... it down to the bare frame. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was starting to uh, the weight of the cannon was starting to make the the uh, panel flip open because that was originally where the sub arms were stored. Yes, which I thought the sub arms were silly and they even are. in the show i was like that he barely that's, used them yeah, in the show like, everybody hey. says no i used them like two or three times he barely mm -hmm. used them and so i ended up uh gluing uh one of the uh part of the pegs into uh the arm so that way it would stay uh closed for the most part sorry i'm trying to pose them with the gun out yeah. but it's heavy <laughs> yeah very I was heavy. able to get a couple of poses when I took my photos, and then like after that, the arm started going down. I was like, "Oh, something tells me that I may have worn out the uh, pig a little." <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> the entire ball joint came out, which is not what I thought was happening. I thought it was coming out of the uh, f the bicep, <laughs> but hold on, let me just turn him over completely because he can do this, and we prop him up on his own arm like Mega Man style. <laughs> I don't forget. Did you ever have it in a pose like this? No, um, I tend to have him with it uh, underneath his arm. Under and sometimes slung. I would have it, if I needed to cheat, I would have it uh, propped up a little bit on the skirt armor. I'm trying to make this work, and it's almost there. <laughs> it's just, it's falling just yeah, enough. Yeah, I Hold mean, it, 
it's so big and heavy because it's it's made of thick plastic. Yeah, I mean the gun by itself is like stupid heavy. Yeah, so might not have been the it's best almost... idea to uh, do, but <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. We might break something, but it's gonna be okay. That's what glue is for. I was trying to get him to where he can prop it up on his knee. Come on, kneel down. He doesn't kneel very well. <laughs> It'll get there. It'll get there, Thomas. <laughs> Trust me. No, you do what I... I swear to God, that other arm was letting go. It, I'm going to break it. It's fine. <laughs> what happened to it? Hold on, look. The, look at the armor? Yeah. That's completely right. came off? That's removable. Oh, yeah, I don't think it was supposed to be removable right there. No, that's the way, no, that's. Is the, it actually part of the arm that's joint? The, that's the way. Um, I mean, that's coming off. I think, but that's the, that whole poly cap doesn't do anything anymore. Look at that. Oops. <laughs> well, now you know that a lot of weight and a lot of movement doesn't like it. So sorry. There, now he's propped up on it. Looks ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, you can finally do an over a uh, Megatron shot, which is really what that is. I'm sorry, he's shooting at you. Ah. I can't help that. All right, so we got to take another break right quick because we're running out of film. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, we fixed this arm, but now he's just like, okay, I'm just last, I'm just carrying my gun around. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it just is. Okay, so point that back where it goes very slowly, carefully. There we go. I will have my revenge <laughs> i'm gonna have revenge for my grandpa i'm just pretending what was her did you give her a name yes it's like a nisoka mixta or something like that it trans it's mixta's last name and uh the, her first name translates to uh like solar eclipse or lunar eclipse because uh -huh. mikazuki was uh like crescent moon or something yeah he was crescent moon but then his son was akatsuki which is red cloud so uh well also translate to like dawn or something like that something like that yeah. even though akatsuki yeah mm -hmm. akatsuki yay okay so that's where i came up with that <laughs> um, i even drew a picture of her <laughs> hey well i mean as a graphic designer i mean it makes sense that you would go to the nuns you know i mean i've seen some of the shirts you've designed and stuff like that and the one thing you've randomly designed for me even though i didn't ask you to uh the, the hashtag nub shaming shirt <laughs> or well it's not even a shirt yet because i still feel like that's bullying and to some degree even unless it's applied directly to nick um <laughs> which i should be i should feel bad about that um we do have the tail back here because mm -hmm. we want to pretend that we're still having some kind of review of us just playing around and it does do the it does do the thing yes very much like the hg does where that comes out and i assume this comes out too yep yeah i broke it and then this guy so you have to feed it through the thing first and then into the ah, through this way yeah. <laughs> helps if you go in the right hole <laughs> like so yep that is actually slightly easier than it is on the HG. Probably because of the size, if I had to guess. <sighs> Make sure the tail's nice and snug, and that's a pretty tail. Though, you know what's crazy? Like, this is round about the same size as the actual Hoshmal tail. <laughs> like, that's that's the size difference. Like, they really carved it down in the case of when he uh, finally put it on the lupus. It goes this way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you look on the, t if you look on, I the assume picture, the thingy right yeah. there indicated up. That was partly because I was having trouble remembering which way it went. So okay, Does and it... it's not, and it's not going to go completely. Snug. That's what I thought. Okay, I was saying I didn't want to force which it. I I could get upset about, but I just figure it's like, oh, it's a mechanical detail. So when it's out, it's actually you could picture it, it going. Shink, shink, shink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had to make the same noise. <laughs> I was like, we'll just make the same noise. That's the kind of dorks we is. I have to admit, the tail is one of the things I really like about this thing. That's what everybody likes about it. Yeah, the tail and the uh, the the monster forearms I thought were really cool. It was why I wanted to do the Rex versus just the regular Lupus. Yeah, I wanted to get a decent behind shot here. Mm, yeah, like actually, that's one of the better shots I have of the one that uh, Josh did. 
for when I did his builder showcase is from behind but the tail up. But I can't replicate that. His is his is kind of glued in place, so it makes it easier. So I gotta finagle some stuff here. My feet feel funny. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have any other questions. Is there anything else that you need to tell me about it? Um, other than what happened here? Why is this garbage color? Uh, because I wanted to put another color on there. And you're out of paint. No, I was running out of time and I got too lazy. That's You're that's, lucky I didn't see that in the judging. <laughs> I was so um, enthralled by your amazing pictures I didn't is, care uh, about the garbage. If you uh, can bring it back around to uh, the other side of so uh, the face. Okay. If you look closely, you'll notice that the... Uh, <laughs> Yes. I can't look closely. I've aimed at the crotch. No, let him go. Let him go. It's okay. He's limbo. He's doing. <laughs> How low can he go? I don't know. Let's watch. <laughs> it's got... Hold on. Let's... let's watch. The tail might hold him up. Probably. I think it's very first... slowly still going. I don't know because that's a pretty strong wire on there. That's hilarious. Like it's just gonna <laughs> power down mode. <laughs> I'm trying to raise the camera up, and I realized I turned the stupid knob in my own way. Where editing is handy. Edit all this out, me! <laughs> no, me, I'm not doing that. Just... Leave it all in! We're doing it live! <laughs> oh, so, um, hold on, he's just gonna be like, yeah. Okay, what were you trying to show me okay, before so, all this happened? So, if you look closely, um, you broke the chin. That's, yeah. I see the broken chin. So, while I was painting it, um, I had forgotten my order of operations and I didn't put the uh, primer on the chin. Uh-oh. And I was like, no, I can't do that. So I went, I I had applied the red paint on it. It's like, no, I can't, I can't leave it like this because it looks completely different from where it's supposed to. I used thinner to get it off. And then in the process, the, uh, the alligator clip I had uh, caused the thing to go flying. Ching. And then when I picked it back up again, that part was missing. Wrong. And I was, I, I was upset for a little bit. I was like, no. I can't fix it, feature it. And so I made sure to put a, he a hefty amount of the chipping effect on there to make it look like, yeah, that for whatever reason, that part is uh, missing. In my story, I have an idea of like, maybe it's like sitting as a trophy at like on earth somewhere. Or we something. rebuilt <laughs> the entire thing from even new materials, but missed this chunk of the chain. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the better story. Dave forgot to come to work that day. And it was the last day we were working on the chin, and he had the last piece, and it's sitting in his living room unfinished. Something. Damn it, but Dave. It was, but it was just one of those things where it's like, okay, I, I could get upset about this what? and try to beg people for other parts like I see some people do, and I never see anything come from that. No or step <laughs> on top of the chest vent where you one need to step, because the cockpit's <laughs> right there. Don't step here, but you can step there. Don't step on top of the Abraham reactors, kids. You might get sucked in. <laughs> or don't walk on an active Gundam. I have to admit, putting the, the water side decals actually were kind of fun to do. Like, after a point, I kind of got into a zone with it. Though I had some fun where, like, uh, the red one on the center of the chest, mm -hmm. I, I, I put that on there, go and... Uh, <laughs> I, go, I go off to do something else, come back, and it's gone. And I'm like, what the heck happened? And I, I look around, and I, don't, I couldn't even find it. It just had slipped off because I guess I hadn't drained it or uh, dried it enough or something. You know, actually, uh, this came up this morning uh, with uh, Shup, or Nicholas Shup, or Gunpla Fan 15 mm -hmm. He's working on his Sananju Full Mechanics Clear version, or however you call that. You know, so it's a Verka, or it's a MG Sananju, but it's totally clear except yeah, for the frame. I think I knew the one you're talking about. And the water slides wouldn't stay. They just, no matter what he did. He tried, like, they would just, and he clear-coated clear, clear -coated it, which I don't know how you clear-coat a clear thing, um, but they wouldn't stay at all. They just kept right off, even with Mark Mark Setter, everything. Could not keep it on there. Actually, I need to find my Sananju, which is right there, because I've got spare water slides, I need to see if they're exactly the same as his. But, either way, if you know anything about water slides, I'm sure mm -hmm. you're going to leave it in the comments, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but, um, uh, can I, I ask one question? Go for it. What the heck happened here on the thighs? Like, that looks like, like somebody screwed up and tried to erase <laughs> what happened. And there's battle damage, but then there's like, oh, we put the thighs way too close to the leg armor and it scrapped, <laughs> scraped the crap out uh, of it. I was trying to use a Gundam marker to fill that in. Fair. And it just, it uh, kept it, 
it kept coming off whenever I handled the thing. And touch your guy, own face. <laughs> you can't. The arms are too big. I, and as I mentioned before, I was right down to the wire on this thing. So this after, wire. Yeah. <laughs> Puns. So after a point, I was like, no, I. It, it belongs to the ages. <laughs> the ages? The ages. The Aegeus? <laughs> I'm going to have it on the screen. Aegeus? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to kill you with my own tail if I have to stab you with it myself. <laughs> I actually like, thought it was kind of uh, neat how it looked like he could hold his tail. Yeah, he never occurred to him, like, I should pick this up and maybe stab people with it. But then again, he. I could have he seen effect, him. Doing he effectively that. used it as a fifth appendage. Yeah, he no even, problem. He Remember the went, comment? Yeah, he even when it says, like, yeah, it feels like having a tail I don't, is natural. He's like, I don't know how I ever lived without having a tail. Like, Mika, most people don't scary. have that thought. <laughs> like, well, then again, if you suddenly gain a tail and know how to use it, yeah, it's like, how did I live without a tail? But then again, you have to live without a tail, legs, or, you know, half half his body. Yeah. Um, or half his eyes. So... All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for looking at the actual Gundam itself. It's really awesome. I got to get a whole bunch of uh, thumbnails and whatnot for that. But mm -hmm. of course, this is the Thomas. Hello. He was on the live stream with me that one time, yeah. and then of course he's going to be on a video in the future that you guys haven't seen, but I filmed it in the past. YouTube time travel. It is what it is. By the way, look at the camera. Looking at the camera. Because <laughs> a lot of people want to look here. You know, there's no screen for us to look at, so we have to know where well, Plus, I'm also in the middle of the Shoki cave, so I want to look everywhere. Don't look at all the other things. There's nothing <laughs> here. There is no cave. Okay, so we might as well get this over with. Here is your prize for your intermediate win. Ooh. Nice little Tall Geese EW Very that I got cool. yesterday. Like, I put a rush order on that to make sure it got here. And then, of course, everybody gets it yesterday. I, I saw that, and I was mentally going, it's like, I wonder if Shoki knows that the fact that Hobbytown just got these. <laughs> and all of them are sold out. Like, everywhere. No matter who got them, they're oh, sold they're, out oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah, because they're, like, Super, everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. So the, but I've still got one coming for me from uh, Colby, one of my great patrons, who helped out. He donated the Justice and one of these. Hopefully, I didn't cancel that order. Uh, but this one I'm putting up. Just to make sure he gets his prize, because that would have been really crappy for him to have to come out here twice, <laughs> or for us to somehow get together for a third time during all this. And, uh, well, that's it. You don't get anything else. Wait a minute. No, there wasn't any other prizes. There's nothing right there in that box. That's an empty box. An empty box? That's an empty box. There's no other things. Bye, guys. That's the end of this showcase. <laughs> I think you're trying to pull one on me. No. People already think that I chose you over everybody for simplicity's sake. <laughs> it's like it's like, guys, look at the build. I mean, look at this precious face. Who wouldn't precious. choose this mustache? <laughs> I was gonna tell you to shave the mustache if you wanted your prize. <laughs> Just to see if you would do it. No, my wife would not have that. <laughs> it's okay. Let it go. It'll grow back. It's worth a deep striker, in my opinion. Fine, here's your damn deep striker. Which actually, this has never even been out of the box, I don't think. Oh You're not getting the box, by the way. Just the, just the box that's in. Not, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, that is huge. <sighs> Seriously big. Like, okay, you got your Exia already. This is roughly yeah. the same size, box wise. If yeah. you guys actually want to see an unboxing for this, hopefully they finally put it up on the Hobby Town Houston page. Because we, we did a full unboxing. Um, not of this one, of okay. course. This is brand new. Uh, the the one that Dion bought, the one that I actually featured in the reveal video, we did an okay. unboxing that same day that I filmed for them. So you get to pull the bubble wrap off because that's kind of fun. Mm. And you get to play with your toy. Very cool. Should I pull off the bubble wrap here? Yes. I want you to... Kid on Christmas. Tape's on the other side. There we go. <laughs> there you go. This is so freaking cool Plan 303E Deep Striker. Seriously, it's like a PG box because it even has a handle. Yeah. So the largest MG ever. Yeah, you can it's like center it on the screen here. Right about there. So cool looking. So if you guys think that what he if he didn't deserve it, let us know in the comments down below. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't be mean. He did a phenomenal job. Everybody loves what he did. Uh, you are gonna have a heck of a time with this, buddy. Like I don't know if you know. Like there was a full scale 
part of it. I don't remember. I think the cannon alone is longer than the yeah, box. Yeah. Um, well, we when we opened it, it's it's ridiculous. Like the actual Gundam inside is a rather large MG. Mm -hmm. If you've never built the I've Sentinel, no. Um, but there's nothing that's ever come out like this. Like the only thing that remotely comes close size wise in EMG is the uh, uh, Psycho Zaku because mm -hmm. of that giant yeah. backpack. But for for a Gundam that doesn't even have legs, yeah, it's so crazy. I mean, it comes with actual hoses and stuff like that because we did look at that, and like the detail does have real chrome parts, all kinds of goodness. Very cool. Yeah, I've been I've been watching videos on this because. A whole bunch of the the Gundam YouTubers uh, picked up a kit to show off, and I'm I'm going like, oh, that's a nice thing that I'll probably never have because it's, yeah. it's way too expensive. And you know how hard I it was to not like spoil it that you go that you won, like because <laughs> you had to wait a day to know, like, and I'm like, well, I guess everybody had to wait a day, but I'm like, I was talking to you already mm -hmm. about non related things, and I'm like, don't tell him. Tell him. <laughs> like, he's got to be surprised. And, of course, I'm going to put the picture back up. Oh, of course. Got to put the picture up. Um, I like the fact it's got the Beam Smart Gun, which is like a normal-ish rifle. And, oh, yeah, the main gun unit. Which is, I mean, look at the chrome rings that I have in the stages. You got, Should we flip this around so we can see? No, the they can just guess what it looks like. <laughs> I like that you got you got a couple different versions of this, I think. Yeah, because one is like a Ray Dome and one is, I think, the... I feel generator or something like that. Yeah, it's it's very dendrobium like in a couple aspects. Which makes uh, sense. Yeah, it's you know, and the fact you do get two different heads. Uh, I think. Yeah, because one is because you get it has like the original head that uh, the, the original. Has, yeah, it does. And then it has one that they redesigned for this kit. Yeah, you. it's mildly different, but you do get two separate heads. I think it's the the sensor right here. As you can see, it like the chin looks a little different. Yeah. Bigger sensor stuff and like that. It has that. the uh, the ICOM what's it yeah, yeah. thing, and uh, the you have like both versions of the shoulders. That's what I think this is pointing at. It's like look, this it's, is oh no, this slides out. Yeah, so but it also has the parts for the uh, the closed shoulders. Oh okay. If you, so it's without the moving one. To. So you know what's gonna have to happen, right? You're gonna have to build this and bring it back, <laughs> or I can meet you somewhere to review it. But I want I need to review one of these. Because I'm not going to build one, obviously, uh, because the two I've looked at don't belong to me. <laughs> so uh, somebody's going to have to build one so I can look at it. And Mitchell's going to paint his all to hell, so I don't think that's going to do any good. What's funny is one of my first like major postings in the Gundam fa Facebook groups was uh, me posting the um, my uh, Master Grade uh, uh, Double O Sunriser and going, mm -hmm. like, okay, it's just a kit. Don't let it intimidate you. That one's not even that bad. Yeah. I mean, look, now that I've started on it, it's like, okay, yeah, it's it's complicated, but it's not, it's just a big box with lots of parts. This thing is kind of terrifying to look at, and I haven't even opened it yet. It's, <laughs> terrifying is a word for it, because, I mean, you will not believe the amount of runners. Like, I didn't, did I do a runner count that day? I think I did. I think I did a runner count. I have to go back and look at that video. Because I produced that video, but I didn't put it out. So, I didn't know. It's like, weird. occasionally I produce content for Hobby Town guys. Occasionally. It doesn't do me any good. I just make it for them. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, this is going to... It's going to be intimidating. It's going to take you a while. I'm trying. Does this come with... Uh, what kind of decals does this have? Is it just regular stickers, or does it have uh, water uh, slides? I'd have to go back and look. Yeah. Or we could open it for all that matters. <laughs> we don't have to, like, fully open it. It's not, like, su super secure. Just got yeah, because the um, it actually made the tabs like look, the tabs match the top. Isn't that nice? Like actually went to that level. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to. And as somebody who worked on this kind of stuff, I know about how yeah. they did that. Okay. Uh, which way is up? Okay. Uh, this is the bottom. Okay. Okay. Um, this was unplanned, and I have no idea how much footage we have left. <laughs> this is a problem, actually. Okay, so there's your screws. Yeah. The decals are on the bottom near the instructions. Okay. I remember that. Should we try I, pulling it out all the way? Or should if we you want to, it's your shit. Let's see. Uh, it was a big sheet, if I remember correctly. I can see the instructions. It should be with the instructions. Or near the instructions. <laughs> Remove it! 
pull it evenly, you're pulling it. Oh, there you go. go. I was grabbing hold of the tag. Oh, there we go. Flaps. Right there. There we go. Uh, no, the regular uh, stickers. Oh, well. That's still cool, though. I bet there will be. Uh, uh, there's foil stickers in here, if yeah. I remember correctly. Because it's Bandai, of course they have foil stickers. Yeah, I mean, look how many cameras are on this thing. <laughs> We're going to have to check to see how much footage we got left. Did you get it? I think okay. so. Yay, it slides back in somewhere. Unexpected unboxing. <laughs> that should have been like, no, you're unboxing this on camera right the hell now. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking that was supposed to be like real size, but it's not. There's no anything to let you know this thing is nearly three feet long. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it's out where the stages. heck I'm going to put this thing when I do eventually build it. On the roof of your car. Something. It's the only place I can store it. Okay, let's set it back down here. Okay, so now that you've got that, um, go away. <laughs> just kidding. Aww. Just kidding. I know you gotta, you gotta do gotta get going because you yeah. got, you got lots of things to do tonight, and you still gotta pack up this lovely girl. Hey, I call, it is a girl. <laughs> oh, I didn't even show off the uh, custom base. Yay for purple. <laughs> and the Technon uh, little fleur de lis like thing that they have. Well, it's technically an iron flower. Um, I was trying to think of the word. Um, oh my god. Symbol. Logo. Sigil? No, um, <laughs> when you mask it off with the thing that's cut into the shape of... Stencil. The... Stencil! Yes. I'm going to cut the word stencil into right there. <laughs> Good God, that was ridiculous. And I actually, I actually did do a stencil. I cut it, I found, I used an old uh, piece of uh, uh, comic book backing board. Oh, and nice. I, I printed out several sizes of it, figured out which one would fit there, and then cut it out. Okay, so what out of my collection will you trade... Just <laughs> it's like, would you trade me for it? No, I'm just kidding. Um, would you consider putting it on display out at Hobby Town, or do you want to keep it at home? Um, I've thought about putting it on display at Hobby Town actually. At least it I... does get it out of your way. <laughs> but you can literally put a tag under it that says, you know, Shoki reviews Lupus for Lupus mm -hmm. Beckton Show, which I, you know, you can actually make a thing for that because you are a graphic designer person. <laughs> <sighs> so. Unfortunately, camera died, and we filmed about 15 minutes worth of stuff before we knew the camera was dead. So, just real quick, uh, like, I, like I was saying, I think right before we did this, he's a graphic designer. He yep. makes his own t-shirts. It's yep. pretty cool. And um, I was promised a t-shirt if he won. And Don't he, believe his lies. He, he won and did not provide said t-shirt. It's not a lie. But there's going to be all these conspiracies on why you won anyways. <laughs> it's because he lives so close, isn't it? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. And I embezzle all the money from the contest. That's a lie, as is the t-shirt thing. But either way, um, uh, he is actually going to be helping me out in a future endeavor, a future contest. Yes. Uh, that uh, technically affects you personally. We're not going to go into details yet because we don't want to announce that just yet. But with his graphic design background and close to the subject matter... Uh, He's going to be my number two on that one. So kind of how Zeta was in this aspect, but of course we've got a new... Kind of know what we're doing, working with a little bit better this go-around on this mm -hmm. contest. Um, we still I learned got it out. from watching you. <laughs> I learned it from watching you! Um, but anyways, that's pretty much how that goes. So stick forward to... Stick forward, or wait, whatever. I don't know how to talk anymore, guys, because it's been an hour since the phone died, and he's got to go. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I don't remember if I said thank you or not already, but thank you, of course. Thank you for having me here and picking my kid and stuff like that. I'm still... It wasn't just me, though. I mean, like... I know, but I'm still I, amazed. And you know what? I didn't show you the point sheet, but you're literally, like, a point or less off from the leader. Oh, wow. Period. So <laughs> everyone, not just myself, thought that highly of your kid. So that's, that, that, that's why you... It's a nice you, little ego boost. That's why you won this lovely Deep Striker. Um... That and you promised me a shirt. <laughs> Did not promise you a shirt. You should give me one. Of some sort. I'll oh, let um, you know when they go on sale. Along with true. everybody else on the Actually, channel. <laughs> you know what we should do, though? Uh, either between you or even maybe um, Ryan. We could probably make this happen. I didn't think about it. We should get your Gundam on a shirt. Oh, that could be cool. Or why don't we put all the winners? Oh, a winner shirt? That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, that might be a thing. Ryan, I know you're going to watch this. 
I need to get a hold of you. Maybe we can make this happen. Get you get you pictures of all the winners and maybe put them all on a shirt and like you're just lording over them all. <laughs> so, I won! Like arms in the air. Uh, but that'd be cool. Actually, that might work because I mean, I want, the Lupus for Lupus store is going to continue. Yeah. I'm just not going to handle the money directly anymore because I don't need to. And uh, in the case of the money, uh, once the total has finally come through, I'm, I'm literally waiting on the last Teespring deposit right now. Mm-hmm. And oddly enough, nobody's bought a shirt since the contest ended, so it made <laughs> it real easy. Um, so if anybody's wondering why I haven't done that yet, that's the reason. I'm still waiting on that deposit to go through, because it's got to come from Teespring to PayPal, from PayPal to the bank account. So, And I did not spend my, the money on my vacation, regardless of one particular jerk set. <laughs> But, uh, um, of course, it's always fun hanging out with you. Um, you'll definitely be on the channel in the future in one way, shape, or form. Obviously, I'm going to have you back for the contest stuff. But got, uh, stick around for his other Builder Showcase in October, which will be fun. In the future. I still haven't edited that video either. <laughs> Just sitting there. like I figure there's no point yet, but I've still got so many other videos for that particular event that I've never done before ever. Um, <laughs> I'm half expecting you to contact me. It's like, yeah, the the mic was in the shot or something like that, which would be something. Consistent. No, that I know. No, the footage was fine. <laughs> I know that part. But people are going to note that there's a sudden decline, <laughs> like for for some of those things that have current have been done, quote unquote. We wink. Um, YouTube time travel. Uh, people will notice the lighting difference. Uh, and I, actually, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I posted a video, you know, totally unrelated before we say guy. Uh, I made public a video that was only for my patrons, like yesterday. It was the the mass production type uh, petite guy, the green one. That was a con exclusive. Oh, the the build video. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was yeah. watching that when I was at work. Actually. And people <laughs> were like, what happened to your set? <laughs> I was like... That was back in, I was like, I filmed that, like, beginning of the year. No, I filmed that last, uh, either early this year or near the end of last year because my buddy picked that up at Akon, which is going on right now, Yeah. but last year. So, it is what it is. But, uh, guys, of course, one thing with patrons, as always, John, Andy, Steve, Colby, and the Crowsama. I'm getting used to saying that many names. <laughs> if I get any more, I won't be able to say them all on screen. But, of course, you want to help out the channel a little bit right here on the screen. I don't know where any framing is whatsoever. Just bellies. Just that's all we've got going on. Bellies and bald yeah. spots. That's all we've got. Um, I should have, <laughs> dude. I should have shaved down to just a mustache. I've been like facial hair bros. You're like Tony, Tony Stark and uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, that's uh, we're, the, we're the thicker versions of them. I'm Tony Stark. Aww. Well, Doctor Strange has longer hair. Ish. Depends on which version you're looking at. Eh, all of them. <laughs> but anyways, uh, of course, I'm trying to get to a lofty goal of a couple hundred bucks a month just to uh, help offset the cost of this channel, and that means I can do more for you guys as well. So if you want to do that, even five bucks a month, come become a patron or just buy a Shoki shirt, and that's where I was kind of leaning when I was talking about his shirts. So if you want to go to get any of his stuff, it'll be in the description down below. So this is, a, this is an interesting concept of something. V-fins. If you would yes. like V-fins from the universe, this now you do you have a, you don't have Barbatos on there yet. So no, this one's it. actually specifically UC. Okay, so you need to and do you things need to do that's part of UC that they don't talk about anymore. No, we don't talk about the UC. <laughs> um, but that's it, guys, for this awesome builder showcase, and not the last video for Lupus for Lupus, but yeah, one of them. And I'll catch you guys later. And just check out his smiling face on all the things he does. He's starting a YouTube channel, so he's just getting that off its ground. And I'll post that later whenever he does get there. But he's trying to do reviews and stuff and steal my thunder. Your set looks deceivingly familiar. <laughs> Just because I use a white sheet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell them real quick that that was not my set where you took the that pictures. That was not his set. I <laughs> you actually... know how many people probably thought that? They're like, wait a minute. No, okay. And my lighting setup is woefully inadequate in comparison to this. I have two little LED light switch things off to one side being held up by duct tape. Like duct tape rolls. They're not being duct tape. <laughs> They're held up on rolls. duct tape rolls. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. That's it. We'll catch you later. And remember, as always, to keep on building. Bye. Bye.